We are a family. We are a family. Mommy and Daddy. Kayla and David and Ethan. We're the tag. school is closed today because we get an email last night they have closed school across the entire county because of a manhunt for some man I don't even know what he did I didn't watch the news but he was an employee of the county uh, maintenance so I can just imagine that he maybe made a threat to a child or something and they were just being cautious by closing all the schools but in the middle of the night he was found and they just said it was too late to reopen but Kayla had so much homework plus she was just really tired from the weekend you know, she still has to do her chores and homework and stuff for her peak group at church. And she was just tired and a little, like, frustrated. And as they her and Chris were doing homework last night, we get that message. So she just basically gets another day to recuperate and get caught up on her work and stuff. I'm like, girl, you got some kind of grace. about your father's business, meaning your father in heaven, he makes sure to take care of you. Hey, Chris. 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 Busy. No. Psh. You have to. Okay, Kayla, you do it. When I go, when I, oh no, Kayla's writing her letters. Her We're small. both no, busy. Do it, please. She wants to do anything so she can stop. Okay. Put her head straight. And when I kick it, you have to move your head. Ready? One, two, three. Psh. A little bit with more action. One, two, three. Psh. Wrong way. One, two, three. Psh. Okay, now, honey, you do it. What about you, Ethan? Didn't you just say to Kayla two minutes ago she got 70 letters she got to write? Write your letters, Kayla. Write your letters. We're in the doctor's office for Ethan's um, checkup. And he's 20 pounds and 14 ounces, which means it's time for us to get a new car seat for the big baby. Hey, how does that shoe taste? Huh? How does that shoe taste? How does it taste? Huh? How does that shoe taste, you little kitty boy? And he's 28 and 3 fourths inches long. Baby boy. Baby boy. You're drooling all over the place. Can you need a book like his drool? Okay, ready? One, two, three. Psh. Wrong way. One, two, three. Psh. Hit it. One, two, three. Psh. Other way. Psh. Other way. Judy and Benji. Guess where we are. First watch again. Same booth and all. Different Kayla. booth. No, this is the same booth. Oh, you had different group because Kayla's here. Pancakes. Oatmeal. Sandwich inside. Water. I should have gotten this soup, but it has more calories than salad, so. 
I did good. Kayla's pancakes smell divine, and I don't even like chocolate. The bottom one is though. Unbelievable. So I'm the first person in line. The post office opens at 8 a.m. I'm there at 8.05. Only person there. So why did it take 20 minutes? Black people. Boy, I tell you. No offense. You know, people always say no offense when they're about to say something foul. But this so I purposely try and avoid the black girl line. Even though this is an older black lady, she's sitting there counting her money, taking her sweet time like, lady, I'm the only person here. And I, I always come to this post office. Matter of fact, I was just here yesterday. Like, before you open, you should have counted your money and done all that. So the white lady had to say, can you please take this lady? Can you pause what you're doing? Craziness. Black History Month, um, there was a project that was sent home that she wanted uh, David to dress up. Well, pre K was given entertainment as their focus for Black History Month, and everyone was dressing up as somebody and taking pictures and telling what this person was about. So she assigned David B Jay Z and gave another girl Beyonce. And I just didn't feel it was appropriate at four years old to be learning about Jay-Z for Black History Month. So, David didn't participate. But, um, it's just different, you know. It's different from when I went to school, the way Black History is taught and the focus. It's like, people think the focus in February is... You know heart health month or valentine's day and everything like that and i'm just saying i honestly feel like black history it should be just american history part of american history and taught equally and integrated throughout the entire year but the reality of the situation is it isn't and i feel like now people um focus a lot on black entertainers and athletes when we should be highlighting in my opinion in schools we should be highlighting academia so we should highlight the famous scientists and doctors and engineers and and lawyers and politicians and chemist and all these things are the things that I feel as though children should be learning about and as as a wife of an athlete yeah I understand how important and things like that but to me those things are extracurricular so just like you know um you know religion 
is extracurricular. Now, if the physical education teacher wants to talk about athletes or the music teacher wants to talk about musicians and entertainers or the art teacher wants to talk about black artists, all right, but schools are focusing on the wrong thing and that's why children now just care about being famous and it's not about that. It's about, you know, creative and inventive and pushing the limits and it's just so interesting. You know, I feel that way and I see, I, I'm married to the product of that. Chris grew up in the projects of Brooklyn. He didn't, he, their focus was not teaching them about you know being a black engineer or being a, a doctor that invents the cure for cancer and things like that it was ingrained in him to get out of the projects you have to be a professional athlete and that's not true i'm gonna stop my rant there because you know i didn't grow up in the project because i'm not an inventor or whatever but i am a woman who worked in the political field and was instrumental in getting plenty of people elected into public office, which to me is more of a contribution to society than basketball or rapping. Just like my brother who is a chemist now. I mean, that's his job. And teaching other I have a sister who is, a, is an actuary, which is the, one of the highest forms of being, she's like a mathematician, but in a fancy term. So I just look at that and look at the different backgrounds, and I, I just really hope that, I, and I know that I am one of the few, it's a small sect of, of African American, which I can't stand that term because I am not from Africa, I am no more from Africa than the next person. I am American, but anyway, African Americans are people from Africa who are now American. I digress again, but um, you know, back at one of my favorite places, Walgreens. I had said I was going to go to the beauty supply store, but this is more convenient. for a new I'm looking for a new face wash because my face and moisturizer so my face is drying out what am I doing I am drinking my green juice breakfast and I can't have it over here because Mr. Long Arm Baby Boy yeah yeah and I am still folding Kayla's letters February 20th I had to get new stamps we have spent over $150 in stamps because we're also mailing so we're let, mailing the sponsor letter and we're mailing return envelope, stamped envelopes so make it easy for people to donate just write a check and put it um, back in the mail so we have we literally sending this to everyone we know and I stopped making Kayla Kayla was writing handwritten letters to everybody but it's taking too long and we're mailing this to about 70 people and it took her three hours to write 20 letters yesterday or something like that something ridiculous so the family members who are getting family and friends who are getting the form letter are also getting what's their prize Ethan A family picture just to show that we care and I don't mean to be informal I mean we told people it could be as simple as $10 so 
for their ten dollars my time our stamps I think it in a picture I think it's a pretty fair trade you know what I got from Walgreens time to do my nails I wonder where I put my wedding ring do you guys remember that I lose my wedding ring at least once a week? Look at this good boy. EJT, are you having fun in there? I was mopping and I spilled the mop bucket on the rug. And it had bleach in it, so I'm just waiting for the bleach stain to appear. Hey, EJT. Ethan. You busy playing? You don't want to talk? Fever. Only symptom he has. Nothing else is wrong with him, but he has had a fever between 103 and 102 since noon today. But I've left to go to spin class and do my squats and abs. Like, I just got to get my workout in. Chris is home with them. Told Chris, keep checking his temperature. It's almost time for his next dose of ibuprofen. And if it if he gets above a 105, you know, we have to take him to the emergency room. But it's crazy. Crazy, crazy, crazy. I don't know if I said this yesterday that Ethan's doctor's appointment was perfect and the wheezing had stopped and you know he didn't even need vaccines and he was all good perfect 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 so I feel like the enemy is just you know kind of kind of attacking the family Kayla lost her iPod or her iPhone whatever yesterday and she didn't tell us and a neighbor found it in some yard and brought it to us and it's all cracked and stuff but it still works and it's been storming wet how it still works i don't know but it's like why didn't you just tell us that you lost your ipod kids i can't believe i'm rushing to this class anyway i haven't what did i eat today grapefruit green smoothie I eat anything else? Oh, I had a piece of ham. Last night I made a big old, like, holiday ham because it's on sale. And ham is good. Sometimes I get so sick of eating chicken, chicken, chicken. I could never get sick of eating salmon, but the rest of my family does, and I don't want food to go to waste. So, last night I made a ham, and today we're having ham again, but I made a vegetable a, a vegetable soup I pureed it so they can put ham in it have it with dinner rolls and salad soup and salad for dinner oh and tonight our lawyer is coming over to work on even though I'm Chris's manager and I look at everything the lawyer goes over all the contracts and we'll see if this whole basketball camp is going to work out I don't think so but we're just getting another opinion. So that's today. Okay, bye. I'm like seriously cold. Um. All right. So David came home from school with his fever, which I think I filmed, and we kind of had a long night with him. He slept in our bed. No other symptoms, just a fever. Today he was feeling better. But of course we left him home from school and my neighbor who is pregnant with her third child was just really tired so I told her to bring her son over so I've had the three boys this morning and now I'm heading out to yoga I wanted to tell you guys my peoples my peeps something that is just like I'm so tired of people faking their lives like just 
so tired of it. It's just, you don't have to fake to be a millionaire to be my friend. I don't really care if you are homeless or whatever to hang out with us, us as in a family. I'm just so tired of people pretending. Listen, people find out that Chris used to be in the NBA and, and, I, and it's very much a part of my life so I'm talking about it. People just act so differently towards me and it's just so annoying. I just wish every I want everyone to know and this is for all athletes because I talk about this. Once someone finds out that your spouse is an athlete all of a sudden they have to tell you somebody who they know. Like, oh, I know such and such. Or such and such used to be my neighbor. Or, like, some sort of connection to an NBA player. Like, okay, and I care because, like, what is that going to do? Does that make you, it doesn't make you that player. Like, this is what they do, though. They have to tell you about some connection to a player. Then people will be extra friendly to you so to see what they can receive as a result of, of his connection to the NBA. You know, I'll give you an example. I was someplace where I see a woman all the time. Then she saw Chris and she was like, I hate to ask. No, you don't. If you hate to ask, you wouldn't ask. But is your husband a basketball player? Yes, he is. Where does he play? Nowhere. He's a free agent. You don't even know what that means, but nowhere. He used to be in the NBA. Oh my goodness. So, I am X, Y, and I'm, she said she, she's, she's a realtor. She's one of the top realtors in the area. Here's her card if I want to get to know people. Blah, blah, blah. And then... All of a sudden, she wants to be my best friend. She's just the nicest woman in the whole wide world. But yet, for weeks, you saw me and I saw you. And you didn't give two cents about me. This happens all the time. All the time. And it's really sad. So, you meet a professional athlete don't be fake like we know that most of the world doesn't make six figures and you know we know that you don't have to pretend like you're part of that world because that's annoying just be who you are if we wanted to only hang around people who were you know we would just hang around each other and stay in that little zone and some people do that Please, it's annoying. Be friends just to be friends and cut all the bull out. It's frustrating to me because to find that authenticity. So I can count on my finger who my friends are. My true friends. Right. Rant over. Good morning. It's Thursday morning. I'm headed to this Power Lunch Bible study. And it's funny because it's my breakfast, it's not my lunch. really know what I'm doing with my hair. I think I should change it. This is why I promote people going to church just for the sake not the assembly of, of ourselves. There's a scripture that basically says like don't sell yourself short by not allowing yourself to be ministered to. So, that was an awesome Bible study. <laughs> and it's just so funny because 
God knows what you need and when you need it. So I said, I'm going to go to this Bible study today. My husband's kind of like, mm, for what? I'm like, I know that I need, I need it. I'm the type of, I'm a person who needs reminders because if I get stuck in myself, and I think most people are like this, if you get stuck in yourself, you start doing things your way and you're not supposed to be living life like that your way. You're supposed to be doing things God's way. So I've been kind of stuck in my head a little bit and I know that I needed to, it's like refresher. It's like, you know, an oil change. But when you are a citizen of heaven, you know, and you're living here on this earth, I feel like you need it a lot more frequently. You need that, you know, daily, weekly. You need that. So anyway, so I had planned to, after this, go to the bank go grocery go you know get some groceries some things that we need and I said you know what I'm gonna go get a pedicure now she, it was about the changing your thinking so you could change your life and I feel like the most profound thing out of all the profound things that I got was just about how leaders have to think past the now and make decisions not based on right now and your purpose for your life you have to think of it past your lifetime and you have to think of it for your legacy well you know what March is a very big month for us and we're gonna be doing a lot of spending so thinking of myself and the now would be go get a pedicure but the Holy Spirit was like you don't need do you need a pedicure or do you need to think of the big picture of March for example or our our decision to not want to be in debt and to be debt free and just think beyond the right now in myself wanting to get a pedicure and it's so funny how this one Bible study and that one little thing changes something as small as going to get a pedicure <laughs> and it might seem small to most but you know what Chris and I are going on a date tomorrow night. I need to go to the beauty supply store and get some things. It's like, no, you have to think beyond what Dana wants right now. Kayla needs some things. Kayla needs some new shoes. So it's not right for me to go. It's, yes, technically, do we have the means to? And I bet you the way Chris is, once he realizes that I laid down myself and I decided not to get a pedicure, he is the type of person who is going to try and make it so that I can still do that. But, um, man, I, I have more I could share on this whole Bible study. It was great. It was awesome. I'm so glad that, I'm so glad that God loves me so much to put people in my life and opportunity in my life so I continually grow. And guess what? God loves you that much too. It's just a matter of are you willing to receive that? Are you willing to, you know, go and go to church and meet people and receive things from people, learn from people who, you know, beyond your comfort zone. So, minus my pedicure, I am going to the bank and going grocery shopping. Am I going to the beauty supply store? I really need to. Honestly, I'm afraid I might spend too much money because that tends to happen at beauty supply stores. Well, you know what? Maybe Kroger will have what I need and I won't necessarily have to uh, go there. It's like certain places I kind of lose my mind. Beauty supply, drug stores, Target. Let's see. Um, Chris is back at the gym. Oh, I forgot to do like an outfit of the day. Well, you saw my orange poncho, which was BCBG, and I just have on these tights this um, black jean skirt that has orange stitching so it matched the orange BCBG poncho I had on and what else the leggings because it's so cold outside 
But I need to go ahead and change because tonight, oh, you never really get to see Kayla's room, huh? This is Kayla's room. She has my surface pad in here. Look what she did to her iPod. It still works though. Should I go get it fixed? Kayla's. I'm looking. I still don't know what she's going to order the next day because she's not dressing for winter. I just found out. She went on a field trip today and she didn't even wear her coat. Anyway, I need to charge my surface. I was trying to film this last night that Chris got me this Windows surface pad what you see the commercials about because he knows I'm a techie at heart and it's cool it's kind of I'm still learning it he got it because he's tired of me using his laptop upstairs you know I have a desktop downstairs and um, yeah he's sweet like that look at all my clothes I need to put away but I need to change because tonight I'm getting together having a fit club with some other moms. A fit club is basically when I take my Team Beachbody DVD and we go do it together. So it's like people get a chance to try out the workout without actually having to buy it. But I need to go ahead and get dressed for that because the neighbor's kids are coming over. I'm going to watch them for a little while. She's pregnant until then. So I'm going to go ahead and get changed and get ready for that. Oh. Here's the stuff from the Bible study that we talked about that I said was so profound. Um, change your thinking and change your life. It was really good. All that in like 20 minutes. Time to get dressed. It would be a lot easier if all my stuff wasn't all over the place. But oh well. So I'm headed out to work out with the ladies at church. I'm taking body gospel for today because it's a more moderate workouts not it's really good for beginners there's different levels on it Do I have a gun? can you see the snow can you see the snow I just dropped Kayla off at the bus stop her today is picture day she's do you see the snow today is picture day and She's wearing her hair curly, so it was a little wet still. I can't believe the sweater. All right, so we're off to an afternoon date with my lover in the snow. I was gonna wear a different pair of shoes, so I don't know if my jeans really match my shoes that I'm wearing, but Chris said it was okay, so it's all good. It's all good. I'm just being. Oh, I don't care. We were sat all the way in the back of the restaurant where it's Stony River. All the way in the back. We're in the south. We were saying we don't really care about the racism because we're hungry. So yeah. Stony River. Legendary stinks. I'm so hungry. Honey. 
you come to Stony River, you must have the poppy seed bread and the honey butter. So yummy. I'll show the food when we get it. We didn't even show the food. Stop the food. <laughs> We're just playing a game. Let's not even talk about that game. He's so cute. No one else is outrageous. What else is outrageous? The most outrageous thing you can think of. Outrageous thing. Besides our bill. Well, I tell you. I tell you what. No comment. That's the world's best. What'd you say? We're looking for um we're looking for dessert. How come they don't have the little ones the French onion? Don't you already have? It's all out. I'm putting this back. I don't want this. Oh, I found it. I'm good. I have chips at home, so I'm getting some dip. I'm more of a... Where is he going? I'm more of a salty person. That's how you know our expensive dinner wasn't satisfying. I want to be on the cover of a fitness magazine one day. Showing my stretch marks and all. This is what real women look like. My war wounds. Okay, that's all I need. Oh, that's all I need. Where is Chris? Where is Chris? Where is Chris? These people are closing. They're ready to go home. Yeah. In my head, I was just like, do I want many 100 calorie Snickers ice cream bars? Okay, so our little date night is over <laughs> ending in the snow can you see the snow coming down I feel like we're getting old not thanks my love not that we were ever the most like party popping okay not that as a couple we were ever the most party popping But I feel like we're getting old. God bless you. Mm -hmm. Leaving the gym. In the snow. birthday parties in my head. My nephew who's turning one, my godson, his birthday is the day after mine. He's having an all-star party and we're doing indoor sports stations for the kids. Then we have David's fifth birthday party which is going to be at like a trampoline place. But then we get to plan Ethan's first birthday party and I decided to do a circus theme. I've never done or been to a circus theme birthday party. 
But would it be too extreme if I were to see if we could have an elephant ride come to the house? I mean, we have a really big backyard. And I think that his first birthday, his present is going to be um, a... Not, and it won't be just for him. It would be for all the kids. But we need a play set. Like, you know, swing set and all that type of thing. But imagine this. We're out back having the circus themed birthday party. Then all of a sudden, a real elephant comes through the gate. And the kids can ride the elephant around. Do you think that's a little too extreme for a first birthday party? But it's not just for him. It's for... Everybody who attends. What do you think? I can't ask Chris because he's going to think I'm crazy. He thinks I'm crazy for wanting to go to this yoga training course in Bali. For like 10 days and you come out with a trip to Bali and your yoga certification for $4,500. And he thinks I'm psycho. But you guys understand. So, Ethan now has the, the fever. We're listening to some healing scriptures, and this is going to be our Sunday. Chris took Kayla to church. Good week. Hate to see your baby sick. Chris went to our spot and got us some breakfast, some pancakes. Uh -huh. David's eating pancakes and popcorn. <laughs> Trying to cheer up the little boy, the little baby boy. I'm in his playpen with him. Oh, the hot mess. But play to see if he'll feel a little bit better. Right, son? I hate to see your children not feeling well.